right, welcome back to the Farm Life Show. Uh, my name is Blaine Hitzfield here at Seven Sons. We're in Roanoke, Indiana, and I'm joined by my brother, Blake. Uh, we sit down and record these episodes every now and then. Uh, today, we're talking about our team core values. Blake. Yeah, we are. Drive we're, excited, we're excited to share our values that we come up with here as a team. Yes, and these episodes are really for other farms who follow us to listen in and, and see how we operate our farm and for us to, to just share what we've learned, yeah. do's and don'ts, and we really invite our customers to listen in. Today's episode will give our customers, actually, uh, an inside look at the kind of the internal culture of the people that make up our farm and so this will be a fun one for farms listening in. This is really important. This, this discussion of team core values really drives everything as you begin to, as your farm begins to grow. And because you, you to, have values already. Even yes. if you're just a one person or two people working there, it's just your, your immediate family. You already have values. You may not have them written out or they may not be hanging on the wall. Um, right. But there, you have values. That's what drive this, why you do what you do. And it's easy when you're a one-man show uh, who's, who has a farm and serving mm-hmm. customers, it's easy to live out those values and have consistency, uh, say a consistent customer experience. Yeah. But what happens when you begin uh, growing and, and building a team? How do you ensure that those values remain consistent? Uh, the yep. quality of your product remains consistent, how you do things and how your customers are treated. Uh, because everyone can think of an example of a time they've been um, at a place of business and they were treated really well. And then everyone can also yeah. think about a time they were not treated so well. So the question is, what drives yeah. that we're, we're treated treated really well by multiple people in the same organization. Yeah, you've been to that company yeah. multiple times, and it's always a good experience. What what drives that? Yeah, how's that happen? How do you create that consistency? Yeah. And uh, we believe firmly that when you lay out a set of team core values, that begins to drive who you hire, and who you hire begins to drive the culture and consistency. Yep. And that culture is like that invisible force that's in the air that really drives operating results. Yep. And it drives uh, uh, that care for the customer and consistency. So it's like these guiding principles. Yes. Yes. And it and it really is. Our our core team values represent the the uh, the makeup of of uh, the values that that the people have at our mm-hmm. at our farm. And so when someone's considering working at Seven Sons. They read these core values, and we make sure we explain these core values before yep. someone works here. That way, they're either maybe turned off by them, or they really embrace them and say, yeah. I want to I work here. And the so, thing is, if they're turned off on that's that is fine. Exactly. Yeah. We're just looking to build a team that represents our culture here. Um, and uh, we've always made the kind of the... I know the distinction that uh, core values are not something that we, um, you know, want Im- want to impose on anybody. No. It's either these are our core values. Uh, if you love them, great, come and work here. So. People share each other's core values all the time, yep. all over every different different industry or just personal core values and things like that. So it's just it's kind of how friendships get developed, really. Yeah. So, yep. so what's the first value, Blake? Uh, the first value here is, uh, number one, is unyielding integrity. And uh, yeah, so we take this one very seriously along with all of them. But this is the the number core. one, the core. It is. Everything kind of falls underneath this. But And we would define that. It's, it is like, it's doing what's right when when nobody's looking. Yeah, it's um, that temptation. I don't have to do yeah. this. I wouldn't have to finish this project. Um, you know, or, I bumped or, that vehicle in the driveway. Nobody saw it. It's just a little scratch. It's not that big of a deal. Yep, or for packing orders for customers, um, the small details, just going to the extra effort of, of checking out the packaging, yeah. making sure we're putting things in the box that we would want in our box that yeah. was delivered How to How we would home. want to receive it. Exactly. Yeah. So, And this also means doing what's right when we're under pressure, doing what's right when everybody is looking, uh, doing what's right when everybody else is not. Yeah. Uh, those types of things. So, yeah. And that's a, we feel like uh, because we always remind our staff that at Seven Sons, we're a farm that's, that's uh, built on trust and consistency and integrity and the quality of the products that we produce. You know, the reason our customers invest more in their food from Seven Sons is because they trust how we raise the food. So it's really important that we're building a team that we can rely upon to uh, maintain that consistency and that care for the product, for the customer, for what we do with the animals here on our farm. Yeah. Our staff represent um, the product that we're putting out and raising for our customers. So yeah. integrity and transparency go hand in hand. It's why we, you know, it's why we have an open door policy here at the farm. Yeah. Um, it's why we it like is. to we like to communicate pricing changes to our customers transparently. 
uh, it's it's all around getting driven by this value of, of unyielding integrity. So yeah. yeah, and it's even personally great because when when we're going through this with the team and like you're reading through and you know you got, you've got to give examples of this as well and like you've got to live this out. Yep. And it's it's great time to self reflect on the unyielding integrity because um, as you're going through and you're reading it and you're thinking through, hey, you know, the last couple months here, what what's what's been going on? It's like, man, okay, all right. A uh, little little reality check there for you. Yeah, it's for good ourselves. accountability. Yeah. And it, it doesn't mean we have a business of perfect people. It no. means we have a business of people here that value integrity and consistency and that we're all willing to hold each other accountable and remind each other um, and, and give each other accountability. Yeah. Uh, That's how we grow. Yep, exactly. So yeah. so speaking of people, uh, second value, Blake. Is prioritizing people. So, yeah. And we define this just briefly as saying, hey, let's treat each other like we're family and friends yeah. at our business. And that's yep. the simplest way. Um, I like to think when I'm interacting with uh, you know, a, a, one of our employees or staff members, um, how would I want my son or daughter to be treated in the yeah. workplace? Yep. And that's a great filter, whether we're giving praise, giving accountability, uh, filter that through treating uh, somebody like a family member be, be, or a friend. Because your, your, your children, you're going to give them accountability. Yep. And you're going to want to deliver that in the right way. Yep. So, yep. Yep. So it, the idea here, I mean, we want everyone coming to work and leaving better than what they came. Absolutely. Um, and and so, looking forward to come to work. Yeah. Um, and in my mind, uh, we spend so much of our waking hours in our careers and at work. It might as well be good. It might as well be a good, be a great experience. And as uh, business owners um, and, and leaders here at the farm, uh, that that's important for us to, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're leading that charge. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like um, in our industry is in, in the farming industry, it, it's, it's easy to forget about having fun at work as well. Yep. So like, we're so driven. We're like, God, you know, we're working it's a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, you know, 16 hours a day and trying to knock it out. And it, it still has to be fun at the end of the day. So making that fun for yourself and then making that fun for people as well. So just some, some fun practical things we do is uh, put a lot of time and attention to our Christmas party. We, we have this team values award ceremony where our team members vote on each other on which team member uh, most best embodies a particular value and to give yep. examples and it's a real it's a real fun experience each uh, each year we do that we do staff trainings we have food credits for for staff um, that yep. when you join our team as part of the benefit is you get food credit to spend out yep. at the farm store um, so we like to do some fun and creative things that make people feel um, just appreciated and make it fun to work here so uh, next value Blake is a uh, total total ownership and, and and simple it's just you know maybe it's just we stay until the job is done like yeah. we're totally bought committed. in we're committed bought in we're not giving up we're doing that when, when the job gets hard it's, yeah we deny our helplessness and we figure out yeah. how to get things done um and we don't uh, this is a good um it's not, it, it's not about like you're not going to have problems at work like yep. or you're not going to run into challenges you are but if, if, if that, if that falls under your, you know, your job or where you're at and, and your task and you're, and you hit that, hit that wall that you feel like, I just, I don't think we can do it. Um, there's always a way out. There's always a way to, um, to, to get, to get the result. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, you know, persisting through and coming up with, Hey, here are some solutions. Here's one, two or three options. And here's, you know, we, we, we talk about it. You know, if there is an issue, let, let's talk about it. But whoever's owning that project and is responsible, they need to come forward with a couple options um, yeah. because we, there are options. It's just denying that helplessness. Yeah. We always talk about uh, the one, three, one principle. So yeah. when you have a problem, isolate it to a single problem. So let's not try to dump a bunch of problems on somebody at once. Let's bring one problem uh, to the attention of somebody, yep. bring maybe three different solutions and one recommendations of what solution you think would be best. So as we call it the, the one, three, one principle. So, um, yeah, so this is just the idea of, uh, not making excuses for ourselves. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and, uh, holding ourselves accountable yeah there's nothing wrong with owning that success and then you know owning the challenge yeah as well. hey, if we make a mistake that and that's going to happen uh we're not afraid of making mistakes here at seven Sons. we're not afraid of failure that's important no. uh to to be okay with that um but we want to continue to learn yeah. on and improve and and not make excuses when things go wrong yep uh, uh blake the fourth uh value here at seven Sons. it would be infectious enthusiasm and just let be fun to work with. Come, yep. come just, you know, you know those people that you meet and you're just like, wow, that was fun to be around. I feel energized. I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm excited about, about the day. Yep. Um, that's what we want um, 
the work to be like when you come into work and you're interacting with the people here. Uh, we just want it to feel great, whether it's, you know, the, on, even on the customer service side, like you want to walk away from it. Like, wow, I feel better talking to whoever I talk to on the phone. Yep. Yeah. And you've heard the saying, like, uh, you want to be that glass half full, not yep. half empty uh, type uh, mindset. Um, and so that's what we're talking about here. And every, you know, every personality type is a little bit different, but but overall, as a gist, like we want to be encouraging to each, to each other. Yep. Um, yep. We know that we're all contributing to that positive uh, atmosphere with the people that, that we work with. So yep. uh, part of it is just being encouraging yeah. uh, to one another and being specific about that encouragement. And just you know, having that whatever it takes attitude. Yep. And then that mindset of uh, we want to catch people doing things right. Um, yep. You know, the, the mindset of catching people doing something wrong is so prevalent uh, in business uh, it, at it a is. place of work. So It is. Uh, okay, final, a fifth and final value that uh, we have here? It would be just continuous growth. Like that is something that we yep. as a company and individuals, we're just completely challenge ourselves with is we want to continually be moving forward. And, um, you know, our business is, has, has grown. And I think it's because our people are willing to grow. Yep. And and that is, it's a complete correlation. There, there is. So, um, so yeah, that, we just want to embody that as a company that we are committed. If you're here, you are committed to continually educating yourself, continually growing, maybe in, in, in your personal development. It has to be in your personal development. And then uh, just some, some things here in the business that you're willing to grow, maybe make some changes. And change can be uncomfortable, whether it's just a process change or a bigger change. Um, mm-hmm. You just have to be open to saying, hey, um, I don't have all the answers. And I know that um, we can get to the answers, but I might have to learn something along the way. Yep. And uh, that can be challenging. Yeah, so it's just a kind of a willingness and, and a drive to uh, to do the hard work uh, because all progress first requires a, a time period of disruption. So yeah. if you're learning something new or you're learning a new career, you go back to school, that's disruptive to have to go back to school. If you want to remodel your kitchen, that's disruptive. There's a period of disruption. And uh, so we just want to build a team that's willing to do that hard work. And, and, and find a way to, con- to, 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 to build growth into your everyday life. Yep. Um, because it, it is challenging when you've got when you've got six kids. I have five kids. It's busy at home. It's yes. busy everywhere in our life. And there's multiple areas that I know both you and I are, are trying to grow um, personally. And um, you came across something called short form the other day that yeah. was like mind blowing for for me because I think it's going to allow me to be able to read books quicker. You want to explain a little bit about the app? Yeah, it's, it's called short form, and basically it takes you know a book that maybe would take eight to 12 hours to read uh, or listen to in an audiobook yep. format. Uh, it's basically a summary of the main uh, uh, principles, principles of the book. Yep. And either you can do a 30 minute overview or a two, one to two hour review of that entire book. So yeah, it's something we're going to start, start doing, but um, you know, there's, it's easy to make an excuse. I don't have time, time. to grow. I don't yes. have time to learn new things. Um, but so we want to build that culture of accountability that we're willing to grow and we, and we enjoy the process. So those are the five, uh, uh, core values that drive our hiring decisions, our firing decisions, and who we reward yep. here um, at our farm. And we think it's uh, uh, really important for building consistency um, and integrity into what we're doing. And a team that loves to work together, loves to treat customers well. And um, I, I, I'm very, very pleased with the team of people that we have here at Seven Sons. They're locking arms with us. Um, and pushing our our mission forward. So, Blake, thanks for uh, jumping on for this podcast. Yep, not a problem.